So, hello everyone. Today is a topic of basis for simulation. St. Venet's Principle. St. Venet's Principle was published in 1855 from French mathematician and engineer Edmar Jean-Claude Bar de St. Venet. It states, if the force acting on a small portion of the surface of an elastic body are replaced by another statically equivalent system of force acting on the same portion of the surface, this redistribution of loading produce subst substantial changes in the stresses locally, but has a negligible effect on the stresses at the distance. The difference between two different but statically equivalent loads is sufficiently large distance from load very small. For example, we have three ident identical parts, metal plate with notch, one side is fixed and on the other side are different but statically equivalent forces. Distance to the notch is relatively large. This case we can simulate with prepo marks. Start new new project. Import CAD from three metal parts. To first create global mesh parameter for all parts with min and max element size 1 mm, second order no, I want to create hexadron elements. It is enough first order element in this case. The mesh parameter is extrude mesh with 2D meshing algorithm frontal de Launi for quads and recombine algorithm blossom. Three elements in extrude direction, preview mesh. I repeat extrude mesh parameter for another part. Finally, I create mesh refinement and notch area with 0.4 mm. Preview my mesh, it is OK. Create mesh. Next step, create material, elastic, st elastic steel. After this, create solid section for my parts. Next, static step. One side of my parts is fixed. Create boundary conditions fixed on left surfaces. On another side, I create forces, 1000 Newton in X direction. First force only on two nodes. 1000 Newton divide two nodes is 500 Newton in X. Next part gets force on the entire surface. It is 34 knots. 1000 Newton divide 34 knots. It is 22.7272 Newton. By, by last part, I use force on the edges. It is 4 knots, so 215 Newton. Here 
Here you can see three paths with different forces in x direction, but statically equivalent. Run simulation. Results. Stress misses. Uh, max limit. Hundred sixteen. So now we have stress control. I create queries of stress on surface in notch area. Now you can see stress misses value in the notch. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.